Like I said, in Thompson, I had graduated from high school and wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. And I worked for two years as a dental assistant for a family friend, um, was trained on the job, and decided after two years that I no longer wanted to work for somebody else. Um, so I thought I really liked the dental field. So I was originally going into become a dentist, human dentist, I was thinking about. but. At the back of my mind, I had always wanted to become a veterinarian. The thing I remember the most about going through vet school is the first year was the hardest year. It was a, a hard, and I think a lot of that is adjustment for a lot of people. They're moving to a different city and starting in a new school, and they're meeting 70 other people that love animals too. Um, so it's the first year is a, is a difficult year, but it's really, I mean, it's amazing to finally, you know, you go through the you know, your undergraduate courses and it's kind of general biology, general physiology, and then finally it's, you know, what you want to be and what you want, want to study, finally. Um, so that, I mean, the first year courses were hard. The fourth year is, was my favorite year, that's the clinical year. So you actually got into the clinics and, uh, and got to interact with the animals and as well as the professors. I think the main thing that people need to understand or students need to understand is that it's, it's not smarts, it's hard work. It's not, I don't know, I always say it's not rocket science, it's all in textbooks. You just have to have the dedication um, and you know, the stamina to, to get through it. But if you want it enough, you can uh, do the work. Then it's, I mean, it's hard work, but it's, it's worth it. I remember people saying that to me when, when, they, when you'd ask about veterinary medicine, I, I asked one of the guidance counselors about veterinary medicine, and he said, oh, it's too hard. You know, you'll never get in. You're, you're, you're down here every day looking for late slips and absence notes and stuff like that in high school. So, you know, he right away put me in this category where, you know, I wasn't one of the ones. I don't even know the numbers that, that apply every year, but there, it is a pretty, it's pretty competitive. Um, but if you have the determination, it's not, it's not difficult at all. I think the biggest, you know, message that I want them to hear is, like I said earlier, it's not too late. You can, you know, you can always, especially, I mean, there's lots of um, kids with similar backgrounds to mine, you know, they d didn't do well in school, um, they, and not because they weren't smart, just because they never really tried. I had never tried. I just kind of coasted through and got what I needed to, to get in and get out. But, um, you know, I think a lot of kids get, you know, once they get put in that category, then they're just lost forever. The veterinary dentist here opened his residency up, I thought. Here I am, I'm gonna go full circle. During the three years um, here, what I have to do for the ABDC, which is the American Veterinary Dental College, I have a minimum requirement of cases and specific cases that I have to fulfill and I log all the cases. Um, I have to submit and publish a few papers as well. Next spring for the American Veterinary Dental College, I write my board exam, um, which is a grueling three-day marathon. Um, the first day is actu an actual exam, um, a full day of exam. Uh, the second day is actually working on cadavers and showing that I can do procedures. And the third day is kind of a bench exam where I look at x-rays and um, identify equipment and, and such. So. That, that should be interesting. Dentistry specifically, I mean, it, it is nice that you get to work with different species, um, for sure. You get to work with, you know, families that definitely, uh, just like human dentistry, um, veterinary dentistry is, is quite um, costly sometimes. So um, we get to work with some great families that love their patients. Uh, immensely, so really getting to know those families and, and working with them to try to keep their, their, um, their I always say pet, but it's their family members to most of the people that we see, um, how to keep, a, keep their mouth clean and keep them healthy.